One of a CCS student's favorite privileges is their 24-7 access to the CCS building. Like Bob Dylan's Gates of Eden, those doors were a portal to a world of many things, sometimes unbridled creation and exploration, sometimes frustration over that piece of code or sculpture you had been working on, and sometimes even a large dinosaur pinata. It was a place where you were always sure to find a friend. And like a revered faculty member or perhaps a janitor, we held the keys to enter this building whenever we wanted. Things have changed since our freshman year. Keys were traded in for less exciting key cards, and the front door was traded in for a less glamorous side door. Students were asked to return our physical keys, not that they mattered anyways, as the locks would be changed. But for some reason, I just couldn't let go of mine. In fact, I have it here today. <laughs> it has accompanied me through exams, parties, lectures, road trips, all of my successes and all of my failures. It has become something of a comfort object for me, like that blanket you carried everywhere until mom decided that you were too old for it. <laughs> now, as I've come to the end of my time here, I've grown contemplative as any old geezer should, and I've come to realize that my degree is somewhat like this key. It's supposed to open doors or something like that, but it kind of feels like someone changed the locks. <laughs> the point of my degree was to learn physics, and I certainly did that, and I loved every moment of it. But I can't shake this indelible feeling that there's more wisdom in life than the ability to calculate the conductivity of an ionized plasma. When I think about the point of my degree, I don't think it was all of the wonderful, wacky physics I learned. To me, it was about learning how to have the confidence in yourself to strip down naked in front of a room full of artists and let them draw you. It was about learning how to comfort a sobbing friend whose life was just upended out of nowhere. It was about saying hello to that stranger in a hallway. I mean, did I skip lecture on the day that they covered all of this? When I think about the point of my time here, I'm reminded of the rambling philosophical conversations I would have with former interim dean Kathy Fultz. We would wax poetic about the scientific method, asking, what does it mean to be a scientist? Is the world best investigated from the top down or the bottom up? What is the correct way to do science? The result of these conversations was to teach me that there is no method for science, or any creative endeavor for that matter. In the classroom, we are taught the methods that worked in the past because, well, it's something that can be taught. We are taught that if you have the right key, you can open the right door, and it's as simple as that. But I'm reminded of the philosopher Paul Feyerabend, who wrote that the history of science is as complex, chaotic, full of mistakes, and entertaining as the ideas it contains. Again, I think this applies to all creative activities, something we specialize in here at the College of Creative Studies. So, when I look back at my fellow classmates, I am not convinced that they came here to learn methods. There are people on stage who have scaled mountains, who have performed at packed venues, who have seen 335 species of birds in Santa Barbara County alone. There are people who have lived in the woods making books and who have touched the ocean floor and swam with the fishes. We have been across the world and back, around the sun a couple of times, and I refuse to accept that the takeaway from all of this is supposed to be the things we gathered from lectures and textbooks. You're going to see a lot of brilliant and talented people walk across this stage, and their entire experience over the last couple of years is going to be boiled down to a single word. But the names of our majors don't do justice to the magnitude of things we have learned here. I came here prepared to learn about physics. I came here expecting to learn about physics. But honestly, my degree was about all the random stuff that happened that I couldn't have prepared for or predicted. It wasn't about what I learned in the classroom. It wasn't about the things you can study because you know they're going to be on the test. And it's just like this key. It's not about the doors that it can't open. It's about the things that I learned while I was trying to open every door I could see. Thank you. <laughs>